I ask that we dispense with the quorum call. Without objection. Mr. President, I'd like to use my time today to raise awareness about an important issue. Actually, it's about an important person, and his name is Mark Fogel. Mark is a beloved father and husband. He's also a son, a brother, and uncle. Over the course of his life, he's been a formative mentor to many young minds. You see, Mark Fogel spent 35 years teaching American history at American international schools around the world, and most recently in Moscow. But after dedicating so much of his life to the service of others, he is currently detained in a Russian labor camp. On August 14th, 2021, as Mark returned to Russia for one final year of teaching before a much-deserved retirement, he was arrested in a Moscow airport for carrying about half an ounce of medical marijuana in his luggage. Mark had been prescribed the medical marijuana as an alternative to opioids to manage his chronic pain after undergoing multiple back surgeries, including a spinal fusion and various other challenging and painful procedures. Mark did not think that this healthcare decision would cost him his freedom and maybe even his life. But following his arrest, a Russian court convicted Mark of, quote, large-scale drug smuggling and sentenced him to 14 years in a maximum security penal colony. And he's been there ever since. In 2021, the same year as Mark's arrest, the U.S. State Department described the conditions in Russian prisons and detention centers as, quote, often harsh and life-threatening. They reported overcrowding, abuse by guards and inmates, limited access to health care, food shortages, inadequate sanitation as common occurrences many practices that most Americans can't even imagine. Considering the inhumane and harsh treatment reported in these centers, and especially given the health challenges that Mark was already facing upon his arrest, Mark's family now fears he's not going to survive his sentence. This is an injustice at the highest level, and it must not be tolerated by our government. It is important to recognize that Mark is not the only American illegally detained abroad. U.S. Marine Paul Whelan and Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich are both still trapped in Russian prisons as well. But while all three of these men are wrongfully detained in Russia, only Paul Whelan and Evan Gershkovich have been recognized as wrongfully detained by the State Department. The State Department considers a formal wrongful detention status one of the first steps to get an American detained abroad back home. This determination mobilizes multiple U.S. agencies to work with the State Department and the family of the detained to secure the prisoner's release. There are currently over 50 American citizens the State Department lists as wrongfully detained in Russia, China, Iran, and Venezuela. However, despite being unjustly detained for the last nearly two years with no end in sight, Mark is still not designated as wrongfully detained by the U.S. State Department. You may recall the Biden administration's high-profile negotiation to bring WNBA star Brittany Grainer home 
after she was detained in Russia just after Fogel over a similar drug-related offense. Ms. Greener is thankfully home. One of the key differences between Brittany Greener and Mark Fogel's cases is that then less than after just three months after Greener's arrest, the State Department classified her as wrongfully detained. Fogel deserves the same justice, and we should be using every tool at our disposal to bring him home. I've had the privilege of getting to know some of Mark's family, some of whom are Montanans. They have been fierce advocates here stateside, but they fear they will never see their brother's face again or hear their father's voice. And we can't let that happen. Working alongside the Fogel family, I've also teamed up with President Obama's U.S. Ambassador to Russia, Mike McFall. Mike McFall was my former Bozeman High School debate partner, whose son was actually a student of Mark Fogel when Ambassador McFall was serving in Moscow. And Mike McFall and I are working together to implore the State Department to finally declare Mark as wrongfully detained. This week, I also worked with colleagues across the aisle to introduce a resolution highlighting the unjust and disproportionate criminal sentence by Russia and calling for the immediate release of Mr. Fogel. Time is of the essence. Tomorrow is Mark's 62nd birthday. But instead of celebrating with his friends and family, he'll be spending it illegally detained in a Russian labor camp. No American should ever have to endure this type of injustice. It's time the country and the world know about Mr. Fogel's case, and I urge the administration to help bring this American back home once again. Thank you, Mr. President. And I notice the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. 